The youth are an important element to the future of the Fraser River. So by teaching them, we're hoping to inspire them to look at the Fraser River a little differently, but also to be more aware of the importance of it and that what you do at home, how it may affect the Fraser River. We are doing a project on the Fraser River. It's a big river fest each year in September, which uh, I was talking to one of the scientists that are studying the Fraser River. And uh, this will also be part of our big project where uh, students from one of our high schools here in New Westminster together with the artists from the Federation will portray paintings and pictures of how they see the Fraser River. And then we will also get some uh, students to write a few short stories and maybe some poetry to be included in the book. I wasn't a huge art person. Like I draw every now and then, but I thought I sucked. So I didn't really get into it. So when my teacher told me to get into this course, I was kind of hesitant about it, but at the same time I kind of wanted to do it. Just because I wanted to get to know more technique and whatnot. And after being in the course, I learned a lot more and I started to actually like doing it. And it, it, it started to become more fun. So I kept doing more and more pieces. The Purpose School is uh, not like a traditional school, not like a traditional public school. It's a private school. So the kids that I teach are um, kids who didn't succeed or feel that they were succeeding in the public school. So a lot of them uh, in a program that I teach are at-risk youth. Mixed. This art class is mixed with some students who, are, who are just didn't succeed in the regular system. So um, there's a lot of issues that that can go along with that, including attendance and you know trying to, to trying to get their interest. So this project I've found that has uh, definitely inspired them. We've noticed their attendance has increased, and a lot of them have very stressful home lives. And we just feel that uh, a lot of them have reported that uh, this particular project relaxes them, uh, get, allows them to focus on something, to be creative, and it's an outlet for them. Well, this was actually the inspiration um, to the, Together in, the theme of this year's uh, Together in Arts project. Uh, Leonard had come to the opening of My River, My Home last September, because it opened just before Riverfest 20. 13 and it is an art and science collaboration so the art element part of it was what inspired uh, this year's theme for Together in Arts. Well before this, um, this course I've never really been into painting and stuff but um, when my teacher Heather told me about this class I took the opportunity to learn new things and when I do it it's really relaxing and I don't know I just I like creating things it's really fun. It was very interesting to meet up with these kids because they all are a little mental challenge but we uh, uh, ask them to start to paint and draw any impression that they had of the Fraser River. Got some very poor images in the beginning and then uh, with a few hints of how to do it, they really developed their art talent. And now they're more involved than I've ever seen any of the students before. Um, at first, I wasn't too open to drawing about the Fraser River. But then as I started doing it, then it, I got more comfortable. Lenart helped me with this piece. I basically had the idea of salmon trying to go up river. The log booms around the Fraser River, and there's a lot of them, as you can see.
anything that we talk about right now. Uh, we talk about global warming, we talk about the pollutants that come into the Fraser River from sewers, not just storm sewers, but it, it, sewers that just still continue to, to flow through, how people pollute the Fraser River by throwing things into the river. Um, if you do the shoreline cleanup, which we do as in conjunction with River Fast, it's unbelievable some of the things that we pull off the shores. We pull out tires and refrigerators and stoves and styrofoam and plastic. And so you start seeing all these different things that if you look below the surface, what is happening to the river and its importance to the salmon and to the people who work on the, on the Fraser River. We're um, edu trying to educate the kids about that impact. So we've also been in partnership with the Fraser River Discovery Center, who has provided uh, workshops and a lot of educational opportunities for the kids to understand what's going on. And, um, and it's also given them inspiration in their artwork. We have a uh, foundation that is called the Together in Arts Foundation that uh, has organized and uh, pulled together New Westminster Discovery Centre with the Federation of Canadian Artists to do this project together. If you have the opportunity to work with uh, a Federation artists, take it. <laughs> because uh, as an art teacher myself, I can only go so far in giving instruction and I think that these, these uh, Students are realizing just how wonderful an opportunity it is to have somebody uh, of that caliber um, help them and give them feedback. Like my teacher told me, I had a talent in something, and so I just continue it, continued it, yeah. And then art helps me be more inspired towards other things. You'll either love it or you won't, and you'll never know until you try. So just keep going at it.